Yeah, no, uh, uh, um, yeah, great opportunity for some guys to step up and, uh, um, you know, um, you know, we have a talented group out there. So looking forward to see how we're, we're going to play. What, what kind of challenge is it? What are you missing with the guys who, with Rondé and DeMar? What are you missing with those guys being out? Yeah, you know, just, just uh, obviously some, some veteran, you know, veteran leadership and, and, and uh, but, Listen, we got a, we're throwing a bunch of young guys out there, and uh, they worked their tails off in, in, in preseason and the off season. Um, we have a deeper roster than, than we we've, we've had in the past, so um, you know I'm confident we can we can cover for those guys. For what you saw in the preseason, do you want to see? I know you want to see a jump on both sides of the ball, but offensively, or defensively, where would you like to see the biggest jump based on what you've seen so far? We got to we got to play a balanced game tonight. I, you know, I, I uh, I'm really impressed with their offense. So to be able to slow them down. Is gonna, I think that's going to be the big task. Can we slow them down? Can we get back in transition? Uh, can we keep them in front of us? Uh, can we limit their three-point you know, shot attempts? And obviously, you know, Blake is a Blake and Drummond are there a handful down there. We got to finish it, uh, finish it with our rebounding. So I think if Rondé is out. Are you hopeful that you know this is minor and that by the next game he'd be back? Or yeah, hopeful, hopeful, Brian. I mean, yeah, hopeful he but he'll be ready for the next game. Is it surprising, though, that all these guys have been working yeah, to some degree but can't get out all the way back in time for the opener? Listen, I don't, you know, in Rondé's case, I don't think he can go, you know, whatever it was, two months without, you know, uh, uh, two months out and then all of a sudden go get into an NBA game. There's, there's just a logical buildup you need to play in an NBA game. And, and uh, we, uh, we, we, we take that very seriously. Uh, we understand what that buildup looks like, and because last thing you want is a recurrence. We don't want anything. Oh, game ten, you know, something something else happens. So, make sure he's right. Make sure he's ready to play. And uh, um, yeah, that's with all of our guys. And I was going to ask. There's been no recurrence or no setbacks. No, no, he's doing great. It's just it's just getting his his. Like I said, he's been out, you know he's been out a long time, and and uh, he just needs the proper buildup to 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 be ready to go. Would that buildup also include? going back in the lineup? I mean, I know your starters don't generally play 30 minutes anyway, but I mean, would he have to build back to the lineup? Would he come back off the bench when his minutes are limited and then have we'll to build back? We'll see about that. I, you, know, uh, you know, with Damari obviously out, it, it, it opens up some holes, so I have to look, it kind of cross that bridge, uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. Just, I know it's luck, but how disheartening is it? You're, you're without three starters from last year's lineup, you know, just at, right at the very start of the season. Listen, you know, Oklahoma City's without Westbrook last night. You know, I was like, you think, you know, it's just how it is. It's just I, I keep saying it's professional sports. Uh, like I said, I do think we have a, a deeper roster that, that this year that can that can cover for those guys. So we'll we'll hold the fort, uh, hold the fort until they can come back. Are you anxious to find out, not necessarily tonight, but over the next two weeks, three weeks, what the actual character? on-court character of this team's going to be? I mean, what's going to be the strength that you're going to have to hang your head on? Yeah, Brian, it's always that way with a, you know, kind of we have a lot of, a lot of new faces and, and, and some obviously a returning group too, but uh, you, don't, you don't really know your identity into your 10, 10, 15 games into the season. So we're going to have to, you know, discover that and, and, and obviously build on our strengths, what, what our strengths are and, and you know, work on our, our weaknesses. A lot of facets to the game, but how telling will the rebounding numbers be tonight from your vantage point? Yeah, you know, I, I think there's two things, you know, you know, look, harking back to the first game we played them in preseason is, is you know, uh, they can't get 20 more shots than us, you know, so we have to take care of the ball. You know, we can have, a, I think we had 18 turnovers, they had 23 points off our 18 turnovers, so got to take care of the ball on the road. Uh, then you got to keep them on the, off the board. So, you know, if they're getting, you know, extra shots at the rim. It's it's just it just puts a lot of pressure on your defense. So those are those are two big areas of, of uh, emphasis tonight. When you look at the four, uh, do you think with a short bench tonight, it's possible both Farid and Karuks could see? Yeah, I think anything's possible. I think that position at that big, we'll we'll, we'll try. You know, we'll, we'll, we're going to have to figure that out and see who's playing well. But you know, very possible both of them see action.